and depth of knowledge, but unfortunately, the thought and idea came too late when it was not possible to pursue what would have been a great textual adventure. Today, as we bid her farewell to this gem of our mother, aunt and great statewoman, we give reverence to thanks, thanks to God, our creator, for lending us Auntie Amma Udra, for the life she touched and the impact she made on each one of us and all who were fortunate to come into contact with her. Her exemplary life was an inspiration we will forever cherish. Our dear auntie was many things to us, all of us, and held our hands through the different trajectories of life we all chose for ourselves. Mommy, your absence is greatly felt already, and it is difficult to believe that you are indeed gone to be with the Lord. Your exit has left a big vacuum in the family and in our hearts. Our grief is silent and deep, but we are consoled because we, you lived a life as a virtuous example for us and many others to follow. Today, as we bid you farewell, we say proudly, rest peacefully, for indeed you fought a good fight, great daughter of the family. Rest well, great daughter of Okwabman. Sleep well, great daughter of the land. Mami Amudra, Die, Die, Die Nyamenihunu, Unyankupong, Efaunsi. We love you and we thank you for everything that you did for us. Eradin Kaunhu, only when him, no found co, no found Tunikukunku, he said, Ye Bishi Abium. Amen. Amen. Google College of Education. Tribute to Mrs. Emily Victoria Ekufo from a Google students by that time, she was also in training college. Let, let each of you look not only to his interests, but also to the interests of others. Philippians chapter two, verse four. I encountered Emily the first time in 1953 with some of the Agropong uh, students. She was then a first year student at Agogo Training College while we was enrolled at Agogo Middle School. We knew her then as Miss Emily Victoria Udra Fianco. She was a Victoria Newman uh, Emily was a mate to my brother, Collins Daku Newman, a classmate here in Ekropon. There were several students in the various schools in Agogo who heard from Ekropon. Mina Amma, as she insisted, we call her, was able to bring all such students under her umbrella as her mother and auntie. Minama ensured any one of us from Ekropong enjoyed their studies in Agogo. She encouraged us to continuously have a relationship with God, so ensured we all attended church service every Sunday and would go to the extent of providing money trotro, for offertory. She was a mother, auntie, and a sister to a good number of Ekropon students in Agego. I, which I knew, my name is Usumenu, was one. Grace Opoku, Harriet Kwebi, now Mrs. Harriet Otre. Comfort Asabri, Lucy Otre Daku, now Mrs. Lucy Baden. Juliana Aku Ado, now Mrs. Juliana Oting Edu, and others. She was interested in our studies took good care of our well-being and supplied us with provisions when it was necessary. 
this and many more endeared her to my heart. I and sustained and maintained our relationship be, be, beyond our studies in Agogo. As destiny will have it, Minama was posted to a Cropon girls' school where I, my mother, Mrs. Newman, was a matron. This served as a conduit to link the two families together. My mother also ensured that she was well taken care of while at Acropon Girls, and this helped to cement and solidify the already established relationship. After coming out from training college, each time I came to Acropon, I made sure I visited Mina Amma and the others. She was all also excited to welcome me to her home. The late husband, General F.W.K. Ekofo, was my cousin. Our relationship, our relationship extended to include my late husband, Dr. Edward Eusumeno of Achimtafo. We learned so many life lessons and got the best of advice from Minama. She had passion for her profession and always encouraged us to be faithful and committed to our teaching profession. She showed us through her own actions how a woman can be strong and resilient but have a good heart, patient, and humble to those around her. For this, we are so thankful because it gave us the standards to build a relationship. Today, as we bid you farewell, we can all say this changes everything, but time changes nothing. We so miss you and your voice the wisdom in your, of your advice, the stories of your life, and just being in your presence. As we mourn your transition, we are reminded of your strong spirit filled with tremendous fights and an over overwhelming joy, who, which you carried everywhere, everywhere you went. A spirit like yours never dies. Minama, we all love you. We will forever love you in our hearts, and we say, Nami Infawinsi, Amen. Thank you. Winneba Youth Choir, Administration. Smiling past continues while we never youth choir ministers.
thank you, Winneba Youth Choir. Hymn numbered 555. I heard you five five seven. Yes, Filing passed by Presbyters. All Presbyters.
you are now in song. Oh, Jerusalem, Fefa, Wu Yi, Nyamia, Ye, Wum. Filing passed by all catechists and ministers. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for how far you have brought us this morning. We thank you for the life given to our mother. Father, we commit her soul unto your hand. Keep her till we meet again. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The concluding hymn is hymn number 810. After that, the casket will be closed. Which man no ne asam?
Nusubon yim kwen tunipa, wef yoyao ni hunsa.